YouTube crew, it's Multiplier here. As you can see, playing the keyboard is very difficult indeed. I can't do it. Chances are most of you can't do it if you're watching this video, but that's totally okay, luckily, because if you're using the software Ableton, looking something like this, then what you can do is actually use the software inside of Ableton to allow you to play literally any scale, any scale imaginable. You could even make up your own scale if you wanted to, any scale at all without knowing music theory. Oh, and also as a bit of proof that this is totally okay, and lots of the biggest guys do it, one of the guys from Glitch Mob actually uses this technique. So even Glitch Mob, guys who arguably write more musical music than lots of the other guys in EDM and such forth, even they use it. And if you want proof, do check out the interview on the Tim Ferriss podcast, oh, number this number. So yes, do check that interview out for proof that one of the guys from the Glitch Mob does use this technique. Anyway, let's dive straight in. So currently it's just a simple instrument in Ableton. Ta-da! Every note on the keyboard plays exactly the right note. So what we can do to make it conform to a scale, we can go to, hopefully you can still hear me, MIDI effects. And then you go to scale and drag it, crucially, before the instrument. So important, you drag the MIDI effect to before, so on the left, before the instrument. What this does is it takes the MIDI information, so the keyboard sent by the keyboard, and it transposes it, sometimes anyway, so that the MIDI information received by the instrument is different. So, for example, that the best way to do this is to not just drag out the standard scale, but instead drag out a particular scale type. So let's keep it simple. We'll start off with C major. So we'll go ahead and drag C major there. What we can then do is choose the root note or the bass note. Currently, it's on C major. And what that means is every note on the keyboard now is in the scale, in the key, C major. Check this out. I'll, I'll do it from here, so. Oh, oh, what happened there? I'll do that again. Did you see what that did? I'll do it one more time. Check this out. Ta-da! Basically, what it did is transpose notes that weren't in the scale to a note that was in the scale. So in the case of C major, the simplest of all the scales, what that means is the black notes are transposed to the white note. So you can see exactly the same because this black note that's not in C major is transposed into the white note below that is in C major and, and of course the whole way through. Same note. And so on. So it basically means you can't hit the wrong note. Oh, that is brilliant. That, that is like computer magic, computer wizardry. And let me show you another example. So that was C major. If I wanted G major, one of my favorite scales in the major collection, then I would go to still. So I've dragged out the C major preset again, scale C major, and then I change the bass to G, bass G, right. So now all the notes on the keyboard are in the scale G major. So. C very slightly different. See if I can work out what notes have been transposed where. So. That's the same, that's still the same with C major. So that's transposed to there. Again, same as C major, the black one transposed to the white one. Oh, what's going on there? That one looks like it's been trans, or maybe that one has been trans, yeah, probably this way, that one, it's been transposed to there. Maybe. There is a very confusing diagram 
to 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 confirm this if, if you're curious. So get to sort of look horizontal and vertical. Anyway, the, the diagram, in my opinion, makes it far more confusing than it needs to be. The important thing to note is when using this scale MIDI effect, every note is now in that particular scale because it's transposing the MIDI. So do check it out, do check it out. MIDI effects in Ableton as used by one of the guys from the Glitch Mob. My name has been Multiplier and I will catch you guys Sounds horrible. Sounds horrible unless you either A, know what you're doing, or use the MIDI effects. Did you do flippity flip?